Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mondongo, and we're back again with another video. This time, I'm bringing you New York Yankees Volume 1. Before we get started, I want to say two things. I want to say I'm sorry for not uploading recently. I've been busy. You know, it's a. Uh, I said it in my last video, but I've been busy celebrating our fifth year anniversary and. Um, also, I've been busy trying to get my new semester or my semester up to date for next semester for school. And it's just been crazy this whole month. It has been crazy. Nothing but chaos. But anyway, oh, the second thing before we get started. Thank you to our new subscriber, Mian Zhu. Thank you again for subscribing to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that red button, hit the like button and write down comment down below let me know um just talk to me i don't care what you talk to me about just talk to me this is this is channel you know where we can talk to each other so anyways on to the review uh this is new york yankees volume one by asushi okada and we're gonna go on to the back of the book for our credits so like I said, New York Yankees by Asushi Okada, translation Caleb Cook, lettering Rochelle Gancillo, and this is published by Gan Press. And in the back of the book, if somebody can tell me what this means right here, teen, I'm guessing, I'm taking a wild guess, but I'm guessing it's targeted for teenagers. If that is correct, let me know, write it down in the comments. Gan Press, the logo. Follow them on Facebook, Twitter, I'm guessing Tumblr, and Instagram. I don't have social media, so I don't know what the T is. Or you can just go to yampress.com and follow them there. So this is New York Yankees. And it was a, you know, I bought this because of the cover. I thought New York Yankees and then there's a cat. So I personally thought it was going to go somewhere else. But they had to throw a curveball at me. And I wasn't expecting that. Let me show you the art. There are six chapters in this manga. Typical art style. Typical art manga style. And a story of cats, but somehow they, they turn into human forms. Now let me show you one scene. So here's a male cat, right? Male cat, and he sees this girl, or this uh, woman cat but see how to the extent they went to <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that well oh, look at that we were gonna leave it at that and anyways so this is a story about cats like I said a story about cats I apologize <laughs> I apologize for that shaking it was just I was trying to fix the book all right anyways so this is a tale of street cats portrayed as hoodlums in search for a calico uh, tomcat. Tygo, he's the main boss, and he's like he runs the show. Uh, he has these straight cats with him, probably like ten of them, all straight cats, and Tiger is in charge of them. And Rizu, Rizu, the main guy in the cover, there's a hundred rules in this gang that they had to follow in order for them to stay. Um, inside the game because they're stray cats so what do stray cats do and they go out and look for food and stuff like that and so i don't know the 100 rules they didn't explain it but they, it's just 100 rules and so raizu he broke three rules and taiga is just angry he he's upset at the new cat for breaking the rules and so as the head honcho he has to uh discipline the new cat and they go head to head. Then Raizu and Tiger go to head to head. But Raizu is not here to play games. He's not a cat to be messed with. And Raizu leaves Tiger down for the count. Tiger lost to the new cat and is stepping down as the new, as the kingpin, as the, as the boss, as the top cat. And Raikou goes to his house because he he's not a straight cat, but he has a house. He has a place to go to. So he goes to his, wherever he goes to, he goes inside a box and starts relieving some stress. But he can't, he can't enjoy that peaceful moment because two cats come in 
these goblin cat tails can be in Jimby. And they're out there and they're asking for the new cat. Where's the new cat? We want answers. We're looking for him. And he doesn't know. I mean, this is a new cat. Ryuzu is a new cat, so he doesn't know what he's talking about. But he's like, yeah, we want to know. The new, the twins, they're like, we want to know where is the, the cat that runs Nekonaki Town. And so the, the goblin cat tells... Um, they're mostly like more beautiful, long haired cats. And Raku, he uh, he's being forced to be the new boss. And Tiger's like, yeah, you know, you defeated me. I've never been defeated before, but you won. You should be the leader. And Raku's like, that. No, no, no. I don't want. I'm not here for that. I'm here for one purpose and one purpose only. And the gang. Uh, the two the two cats they start attacking Taiga and Raiku or they start attacking Taiga and so it's two versus one. Raiku is still inside the box. He's still playing. He's still he's stuck inside the box and he can't get out. He's enjoying his time, his uh, stress reliever time, and it's just two two cats versus Taiga. Um, they go after Raiku or Raiku and Taiga gets in the way. He defends him. And Riku can't believe that. And he's like, wow, you actually defended me. You actually got in the way of me getting hurt. Man, I have I have respect for you because before I didn't have respect. I thought you were self-centered. You were selfish. You were, you know. <laughs> but I can see that you're not in it for yourself. You're in it for your team. And I can see that why your, your uh, team supports you, your straight cats. So the double cat... Um, the double cats, so they join teams. So it's two, two versus two. Raiku, um, he finally manages to get out of the box, and they start fighting the goblin cats. And like I said, it's two versus two, so it's a it's a fair match. And both Tiger and Raiku fight along each other to defeat the goblin cat tails. They get defeated, and there is this. Um, during the night, and there's this cat that comes out, a moonlight, a moonlight cat. So his name is Madara Info Broker Cat. So he knows everything about every cat in the city, and and uh, Ryoku is like, oh, so since you know everything about the cats, do you know this one cat that I'm looking for? This one particular cat um, has a scratch on the eye or on his face, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I know where he's at. I know where the whereabouts or his hideout is at. So they go after him after the you know the purse or the cat that they're looking for, and in the whole process of this, Michan. So re remember earlier I showed you, Michan is the the girl I showed you. So they uh basically she's gone missing. So this is Michan. She she's gone missing. This white cat she's gone missing. And the the stray cats go after them, after the goblin cats. They find out that they find out the whereabouts, right? And the the boss comes out. The boss comes out, and they have a uh, Minchen or Munchen as a prisoner, kind of. I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys, but this is the ending. Just um. So, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys because it was, it was it was different. It was a different story, a different series, and it left at a weird cliffhanger. So, most definitely, I'll be picking up volume two because, like I said, it's just left at a weird weird cliffhanger. And so, this is by Yen Press, as you guys can see, their logo over here. If you guys can tell me what this means, I don't know if this is like targeted towards the teens or whatnot. Like I said, follow them on on their social media, Facebook, Twitter. I don't know what that is. Instagram uh, or yanpress.com. This is US, $13, Canadian, $17. And uh, like I said, I'm going to pick up volume two because it was just, it left at a weird, weird cliffhanger. And I didn't like that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for the new subscriber that came in, Mianzu. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. 
If you're new, subscribe to the channel, hit that red button, hit the like button. Let me know if you read this manga, if you're going to pick it up, if you're into cats, or if you're into dogs, whatever it is. I'm not a cat person, but this story was pretty interesting. So, thank you guys again. I'll catch you on the next one.